Hi everyone, welcome to SAS program in 90 days. So we are doing SAS Y session. Today is date 31. So in the last session, uh, we started the develop a SAS code. Uh, this is the uh, SAS studio feature that is available in the SAS uh, via. Okay, so in the last session, we uh, we see the what is a flow. Okay, so uh, we done some basic and what is a definition of the flow. Uh, so let's see uh, uh, the again what is a flow. A flow is a sequence of operation on data. A data and operations are represented by nodes. A flow occurs uh, the nodes in a series of steps in which output of one node is the input to the another node. As a build a flow, SAS Studio is automatically generate a SAS code for each node. You can flows uh, uh, flows to prepare a data for uh, reporting and analysis purpose. So uh, data and operations in a flow represented by a nodes. Okay, so this is my nodes. So today uh, in session we will see how we are writing a program and how we converting that program into the flow. Okay, so how the flow will be help uh, in uh, the develop a SAS code. Okay, so we will see in this session. Okay, let's see how uh, first of all uh, we are writing uh, one program here. Okay, so I have one data that is available in my local drive. So I have one data that is data is related to the employee data I have. So we have employee name, pay total hours, uh, the work overtime, overtime hours, uh, other um, deductions. Okay, this is related to the payroll data. Okay, so now I'm importing my data. So how to import a data? So uh, you need to select the folder. Okay, let's suppose this is uh, my folder. In the my folder, I imported my data uh, here. Okay, so how to import a data? So you need to import uh, in my folder. Okay. So this is my folder is selected. Now you need to go here, uh, the attachment. Okay. Now let's suppose I selected, this is my SAS folder. In this SAS folder, we have uh, the payroll Excel. Okay. Now you need to select open. Now this is open. Now click on the upload and data will be there. So I already done these steps. So I'm not uh, importing again. Okay. So right now, uh, so I'm, I done my data okay so I have my data in my uh, system okay now uh, we are writing the import statement basically uh, for uh, importing our data okay so I'm using the file name statement because the file name statement for referencing uh, sorry referencing the file uh, my name okay so that I'm using here okay then uh, file name as I'm giving the reference file name reference file ref file I given the name okay then I'm giving here the file server okay file server uh, we are giving fi uh, sorry file services I given here then we have the folder path okay so uh, i given my folder path so let's see what is a folder that is available in my shortcut then this is my uh, program so this is my data so i selected the properties in the properties uh, this is my path okay so this is the path is done then i'm pasting here in the double quotes okay so now next step is uh, giving uh, your file name exactly what is your file name because we given the uh, we given the na uh, path name but we didn't given the file name okay so again I'm selecting this uh, properties then this is my file name okay so I given my file name here okay then this is the file references then next is proc uh, sorry proc import okay so in the proc import uh, we are giving the data file okay so data file name is uh, i given the rep file 
subscribe file okay then uh, my dbms sorry dbms is uh, is the xlx format xlsx now you can also see here xlxx uh, they given okay in my path name okay then we have the out then out statement in the out uh, you can give your work library okay so i given my work library here so in the work library i given uh, the name as the payroll underscore sorry payroll underscore n because i created more files pay, uh, payroll so i given payroll file uh, let's suppose okay and also uh, we have uh, the if your file is containing the names yes my file have the headers here okay so that's the reason i'm giving the get name get names yes okay then run statement so now uh, i write it the uh, proc import here so let's see run this uh, import okay so no error only note uh, 3 is here let's see the with the proc print what is in the file okay so yes so my data is available in the work then uh, my data name is proc uh, payroll file okay and uh, this is my data okay so i run it now we have uh, the data in our yes we have same data observations employee name pay and the total uh, hours work over time over total over time hours and the other deductibles okay so data is here now let's uh, create more uh, analysis here so uh, let's create uh, the gross pay and the other items here okay so uh, first is what is a gross pay i'm creating here first in the excel then we will create in this as in the gross pay is my okay so that is pay first i'm creating the bracket okay pay into the total hour worked okay let's suppose i worked uh, 160 hours in the month okay pay is 25 uh, 25 250 okay and uh, plus my overtime uh, my overtime is 1500 okay then uh, we have uh, the overtime is the 10 hours okay so this is my gross pay okay so that is done gross pay is this then what we have uh, more uh, income tax also i'm giving the income tax to government okay so what is the income tax income tax i'm um, uh, 18% we are giving uh, to the government okay so gross pay into 0.18 okay this is my gross uh, income tax deducted from my salary okay and uh, then what we have the net pay so net pay is so net pay is uh, the grow uh, income okay so net pay is gross minus uh deductions plus income tax okay so uh, from gross pay uh, i am deducting the uh, deduct uh, deductibles if deductibles is any there or also the income tax okay that is my gross pay okay so my gross pay is this is my gross pay okay so we need to create uh, three columns uh, in my sas also gross pay income tax and the net pay okay so i'm creating here 
let's suppose so, so this is an example only for uh, the more understanding same uh, what we are writing in this as studio same in this as easy uh, that is same here okay and how uh, that will be convert into the uh, flow that we will see uh, in this example okay so my data name is payroll <coughs> file payroll underscore file okay files i given name uh, final payroll final underscore payroll i given my final output file name okay and then i'm creating uh, first of all the set statement for copy the work data okay so work payroll underscore file that is my file name then what we have we have first of all we are creating the gross pay gross underscore pay so what is a gross pay gross pay is uh, okay paid pay into the total hours worked okay so i'm creating two brackets if you want to write the sum function you can write the sum function then in the bracket you can write uh, the pay into uh, the total hours worked okay then uh, plus again bracket okay then we have overtime into your total hours overtime okay so this is done so i close on the here okay next after the gross pay we need to create income tax so income tax is the gross pay okay into 0.18 percent into 0.18 percent okay this is done next we have the net pay so net pay will be the uh, your uh, gross pay minus your uh, income tax plus uh, this other deductibles plus other deductibles okay this is my net pay that uh, I have earned in my uh, I have earned in my salary okay so this is done okay uh, let's print this okay so my data name is uh, the final final underscore payroll okay let's run this code okay now you can see here uh, we created same like the excel we created this uh, table here okay net pay so we have first gross pay is 55,000 55,000 is here then we have income tax 9900 uh, that is deducted then we have net pay is 45,100 that is here okay so my table is created okay next uh, I'm creating uh, some proc frequency proc frequency so I will be check my uh, frequency in my table okay my table name is final payroll then we have table so uh, now you can see here we created the uh, this table okay so now let's suppose I want to see uh, my net pay and uh, I want a little a uh, cross pay okay that I want and uh, no column no com i want okay then run statement then it is done 
okay let's see the output here okay so let's see the output here so i run this uh, here okay uh, so now it's executed now you can see here we have the proc frequency net pay we have here and also the gross pay is here okay frequency and the percentage okay so nothing is repeated if you repeated they will be show the two or the other frequency okay so now this is the done okay now let's uh, input this uh, that uh, we will convert this code into the flow so how we will convert uh, this into the flow we will see okay so uh, first of all you have to save a file if your file is saved then uh, click in these three dots then we have the create a flow from program you need to click here okay uh, so now you need to select the location so i'm selecting uh, my folder location okay uh, payroll flow okay then uh, so now you can see here we have the type as a flow by default they will be select as a flow now i click on the okay okay now my folder path is saved okay so now they will be create a uh, one excel sheet separately uh, sorry one uh, tab here for uh, related to the flow So now you can see here we uh, click on the create a flow now flow is created now this is sign is changed something okay now first we what we have done here first we imported our data then we have uh, created the payroll so if you click on that particular one they will be show all the step what we done so first is a import step now they are showing the import then we they are showing the uh, uh, profile payroll profile so uh, pay, uh, payroll file so payroll file is that is available in the library in the work and the table name is a uh, uh, payroll file then we have published uh, doc columns is nothing preview data so you can preview data here okay so this is my data we have employee name pay and total hour work and overtime okay then we have the node uh, information so if you want uh, to change the name you can change the name also you can add the description here and then we have the data step we write it the data step in the data step we done some modification in uh, our data then also we write it the print for viewing that data after the data step what is a link here that is uh, with the data step we created the final payroll okay so now they are showing the import payroll file then they are showing the data step okay so data step they are showing now they are showing the payroll uh, final payroll uh, then they have the uh, final payroll is created with the data step now you can see here final payroll is here publish uh, columns and then we have preview data now you can see a preview data in the preview data we have uh, three columns that we created gross pay income tax and the net pay uh, then we write it the proc frequency step now you can see here proc frequency and the proc print both uh, is step are here only uh, you can see here this is the data step that uh, that is we can view and also this uh, data step and the proc frequency proc means so if you writing any step here proc frequency proc means that will be showing like this one okay so let's suppose uh, this is the linked with with our main data so if i change anything uh, in my data so my data will be changed uh, my flow also change okay so let's suppose uh, i'm deleting my this uh, payroll uh, uh, from payroll i'm deleting this okay and now i'm running this and also uh, i'm uh, running this also
also for this uh, because I change in my payroll in this data uh, I deleted the print statement now if you want to change in your flow so you need to click uh, in these three uh, bars okay then you need to click uh, refresh your data so they, uh, they will be refresh uh, your uh, flow also from the here okay now you can see here uh, i refreshed my data now you can see here we uh, i deleted the prop print statement now you can see the uh, flow is very clear first we done the import statement then we done the uh, payroll file we created uh, this payroll file from the import statement then we created the data step with the data step uh, we created the final payroll okay and then we done the frequency okay so this is how the flow how we are converting the sas code into the flow and that flow uh, that will be help us because in the flow we can do more manipulation we can add more things uh, here so let's suppose if you want to add a branch row export file export or file filters rows import more data here insert rows query okay sort and the table so that operation we are doing on the flow okay so that flow will be help us uh, for uh, manipulation in our data with uh, with this okay so in this session uh, is uh, all about the how to convert a sas code into the flow okay so in more coming session we will go more in deep in the flow uh, in the flows uh, how the flow is useful in the uh, sas code when we are uh, developing a sas code in the sas wire okay thank you guys